now for our first guest. They are a non-binary activist whose positive, inclusive message has reached millions and has inspired each of us to be our best and most brilliant selves. Please welcome the fabulous Jeffrey Marsh. <laughs> out of the way, jeez. Hi! Oh. It's the most wonderful time. <laughs> Who is Ingrid's mom? I heard you're a very good person with a heart that is pure and loving. So, hi, everybody. Um, I gotta level with you. This is the most love I have felt in a very long time. I have, I am non-binary. I use they, them pronouns. And I'm a proud member of the trans community. And I'm gonna go right there with you all the way to the end and let you know that most times, in most situations, people find me uh, disgusting. There's, there's a, hold on. <laughs> there's a visceral reaction. And all I gotta do is tweet and reach out it's supposed to be that I'm up here with the mic and I'm bestowing something, something. I, I want you all to think about what I get from you. So, a tiny little story. I'm magical. Will the light be able to catch my shoes if I stroll a little? So, I was born 7777. And when I was 11 years old in 1988, I knew it was time to come out to mom. Back in the day of 1988, we weren't articulating things the way that we do now. So all I could think of to say was, I think I like boys. We were driving home from church. My mom is a pastor. That came out of my mouth, my tiny little 11-year-old mouth. And mom slammed on the brakes, turned the wheel, and the car went off the road and into a ditch. She started yelling, you are too young. You don't know anything about that. Don't you ever talk like that again. My heart was, don't boo my mother. <laughs> don't boo, vote. Um, my heart was pounding a mile a minute. I, I didn't quite know what to say. I had so much to tell her that I wanted to be Wonder Woman, that I also wanted to be Scott Bakula, that I felt I was some sort of angel creature from heaven with wheelbarrows full of gender. I am. And what I realized later was that mom had a million things to say too that she couldn't articulate. I didn't get it at the time, but later over a, a barbecue, like two years ago, mom said, I was afraid what other people would think of me. And all I had ever heard in 1988 was that anybody who was LGBTQ was gonna die, was gonna be alone, would have no friends, no family. I didn't want that for you, so I started yelling. I need you to know that you don't have to be perfect. If you have conversations with mom and dad, aunts, uncles, your they parents, you don't have to say it perfectly. 
And if you're a mom, I want you to know you don't have to be perfect either. This being beautifully LGBTQ, being beautifully LGBTQ, is a lifelong journey. Keep in mind it's not a one-shot deal and you will continue to develop your relationship over time. Be kind first to yourself and then please be kind to mom. Uh, <laughs> All the moms are applauding. That's weird. I wonder why. It's going to take time. Learn to forgive yourself and learn to forgive them. Thank you.